Hi everyone, it's me. So this week I am back with a Easter edition of Eat This. Basically this is uh, an excuse to just eat chocolate and say I'm, I'm doing it for science. Like North America, England and the UK as a whole really goes out, all out, for the Easter treats. And I've bought a bunch of them and I'm gonna eat them and then I'm gonna rank them. I hope you enjoy. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, we're gonna start with what I consider to be the classic British Easter treat, and that's Cadbury mini eggs. Now I've had these before, but I bought them anyway because I want to eat them. Now North America, we do get Cadbury products, Cadbury, whatever you wanna say. Oh, I can smell them. Oh my God, they smell good. North America does get Cadbury products, but we don't get as many. So we get like the main, the big ones, but we don't get all the little ones. So I'm pretty sure you can get mini eggs in Canada. It's been a while, but you get, you get your speckled little egg. Cheers to Cadbury. And because I'm a professional, I got a glass of milk to wash down all the chocolate I'm about to consume. All right. Cadbury mini eggs, in my opinion, are one of the top Easter snacks. I love them. Great chocolate, a great crunch. They're nice sizes, so um, it's quite Moorish. So you can eat a whole bag. I could eat this whole bag, but I also bought a lot of stuff that I need to save room for. So the Cadbury mini eggs, I'm going to give them an 8 out of 8 Easter eggs. These are the top-notch Easter eggs fantastic, but will they be beat by something else? Next up, I bought a Cadbury Oreo Easter egg. I guess they're Easter related. I mean, mm. essentially here in England at least, I speak for England because that's where I live now, it seems like the big Easter eggs are wildly popular. So you pick your brand, whether it's Galaxy or Cadbury or whatever, and you get like a big chocolate egg. But for this video, obviously I can't buy like six giant chocolate eggs because, you know, so I opted for all these small egg related snacks. So the mini eggs, this Cadbury Oreo, we're still in, uh, um, we're still in the Cadbury train. But I love an Oreo, so I thought, why not a, a Easter Oreo egg? Cheers! I don't know if mine uh, froze overnight, but the Oreo on the inside is like fully congealed, like it's hard. Which I'm not sure it's supposed to be. But my god, it's good. Now I know a lot of British people hate Hershey, because they say it's terrible, it's terrible chocolate, wah, whatever, you can have your own opinion. However, one of my favorite chocolate bars is the Hershey's Oreo, um, not Oreo, the Hershey's Cookies and Cream. It's that thin white bar, and it's got the little chunks of chocolate in it. I love it, that's one of my favorite. The inside of this Oreo egg reminds me of that type of chocolate. It's just, mmm! I'm going to also give this, guess what, a perfect rating. Six out of six Oreo bars. Beautiful, love Oreo, just a fantastic combination. And I am restraining myself from eating the rest of this egg because I know I have so many other treats, but it's that good. I'm willing to sacrifice my good skin for a huge acne breakout just so I could eat all this chocolate. That's how good it is. Now next up we have a uh, Milky Bar uh, Bunny. <laughs> Can you see that? I don't have my glasses on so I can't tell if that's in focus or not, but you know what it looks like. It's a little bunny, it's a Milky Bar uh, Bunny. Now I like a Milky Bar, for those of you who don't know, it is uh, a white chocolate it's, it's Nestle, how do you say that? It's Nestle, isn't it? Anyway, it's a nice white chocolate if you're into that. I'm gonna go straight for the head and decapitate this beautiful bunny sort of thing. Oh no. 
Now normally I like a Milky Bar, but because this is just like a hollow, run-of-the-mill Easter treat, right? It's kind of just average. I think now that I've had the top, I shouldn't have start, started with top ones. That was my fault. I went for the good ones almost immediately. And now just having a plain, empty chocolate bunny thing, there's better things out there. I'm gonna give this headless uh, Milky Way bunny three out of five headless bunnies. It's good, but now that I know that there's better, it's hard to go back, you know what I mean? Now Easter in North America is, I mean it depends on your family, but for me at least, uh, my parents would go out, I don't know, to Walmart or Fortino's or something like that and they'd buy a bag of just Easter eggs. Kind of like mini eggs, um, but not as good. Just run-of-the-mill chocolate Easter eggs. Then they would hide them around the house. So when I woke up, I had a Easter egg uh, scavenger hunt. Nice. Some people will even make like an Easter basket. So you get like the big egg, you maybe get a present, you get some more treats and things. We didn't normally do that. Anyway, let's let's skip the Easter. I got more I got more chocolate down here. What do we want to go for next? How about a malt teaser malt Easter? Uh, so creative. This is a milk chocolate bunny with a crunchy and creamy malt teaser center. Oh my god. Don't look at the calories. Just don't look. Now I'm just gonna go for the ears because I feel like I'm starting to slow down a little bit. I can't eat as much chocolate as I once could, all right? And I don't really eat that much sugar, so I'm struggling right now and I'm starting to eat my own hair. <laughs> Stop. Okay, so that's kind of weird. I mean, I read the description, I don't know why I'm surprised, but it really is. Um, a chocolate outside, I don't, can't tell, can you see that? And there's a different type of stuff on the inside. And it's like a creamy, crunchy, it tastes, it tastes exactly like a Malteser, but just wider. Which, you know, I'm all for. Maltesers aren't my favorite snack, I don't know why. It's a perfectly fine Easter treat, okay? I'm gonna give the Malt Easter Chocolate Bunny five out of seven crunchy ears. If you like Maltesers, these are really nice, and it is a really nice chocolate, but I know that there's better. I have seen the light, and now I can't go back. Next, we have a Lindt, uh, a Lindor egg. <sighs> My insides are starting to feel a little bit funny. You know what I'm saying. Ugh. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little nibble. Ooh. That's okay, it's on the ground, we're fine. I'm just gonna take a little nibble. Oh my god. Okay, you know the little Lindor uh, balls you can buy? Like just a little nice. This is exactly that, but it's shaped in an egg. I don't know why I'm surprised. It's just, I'm full of surprises today. So as you can imagine, it is so rich. It's so rich, it's full of that creamy, uh, thinner chocolate on the inside with sort of a harder chocolate on the outside. I think if I actually did try and finish this, I would feel sick. <laughs> but it is very, very good. So, I mean, you gotta take some and you win, win some, lose some, I don't know. It's good. I'm gonna give the Lindor Easter Egg 8 out of 10 stomach cramps. It's very good, it's very rich. And I know personally, I will feel sick if I ate this entire thing. But I probably will anyway. Next up, we got Galaxy Golden Eggs. So for those of you who don't know, I would say Cadbury and Galaxy are like the, the two big um, chocolate names here in the UK. I have noticed more Galaxy products back in Canada, but I think for us, Cadbury is more prominent than Galaxy, but you know, it's getting there. But what about golden eggs? Because that's what chocolate needs, gold. Okay, they're legitimately gold. They kinda look a little bit gross, to be honest. You know the uh, 
goose that laid the golden egg or the whatever type of animal that laid the golden egg. It looks like a, a rabbit laid these golden pellets. <laughs> so cheers. Happy Easter. Okay, you're gonna have to disregard the chocolate in my teeth, but I'd like to tell you what I think about these golden eggs. Now, I get what they're trying to do. In my mind, and I think a lot of people, Cadbury mini eggs are the go-to gold standard for Easter eggs. I think that's just the way it is. You can disagree or not, I don't care. Galaxy is trying to do something a little bit different and set them apart, and I respect that. I just don't really like it. So it is, it's Galaxy chocolate with crunchy caramel, like bits of it inside, rolled in gold. They're perfectly fine. They do have a little bit of a crunch, but again, mini eggs are where it's at. They're fine and they look really cool. Like I think if you had kids and you're like, hey kids, let's eat gold chocolate, they'd be pretty pumped about it. Unfortunately, I'm a bit more cynical than a seven-year-old. But unfortunately, Galaxy, I think, missed the mark. They're, they're nowhere close to mini eggs. So I'm gonna give these golden eggs four out of seven golden rabbits laying these pellets. They're good chocolate, they got a little bit of a crunch, but so what? Okay, I'm starting to feel real sick, but I'm gonna carry on because I suffer for my art. And I kinda wanna do this to myself, but we'll, anyway. Now this one, <laughs> I don't even know if, you know. Uh, okay, it was with all the Easter stuff, but it's just a fried egg. <laughs> I got it from Tesco. It's just a fried egg. I think Tesco was trying to like, oh, let's get in on the Easter things while we can. And it just says milk chocolate with caramel pieces. To be honest, I think I'm gonna skip this one. If you ever try the fried egg, let me know. But it's not for me today. That's going back in the bag. Okay, now, next of course, we have to do a Cadbury cream egg. Now, I've had these before, but it's been a long time, so I figured it needs to be included because it's it's a powerhouse of the Easter snacks. So here I am. Okay, we're just gonna do a little nib, just a little nibble of the top. We gotta get, there is that creamy stuff in the middle though, isn't there? I used to be kind of afraid of these as a kid because I thought there was a real egg yolk in the middle. <laughs> oh, You can't go wrong with a Cadbury cream egg, absolutely. It's just got a special taste about it. And Cadbury, again, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. I'm going to give the Cadbury cream egg 9 out of 10 fried eggs. Really good. But I gotta tell you, and I'm not gonna spoil it just yet, I have tasted something better than this in this pile already, so I can't get a perfect score. But it's certainly good. <sighs> just gonna end it on that thought, I guess. Okay, the final one is a Reese's peanut butter cream egg. Now, Reese's peanut butter cups are really, really big in North America. I love them. I have seen some Reese's stuff here in the UK, so I think it's starting to like infiltrate you guys. I've never seen their peanut butter cream egg. I'm assuming this is just them ripping off a Cadbury cream egg, which you know what? Power to you. You gotta fight dirty to be on top of the, the you know, Easter treats. So this is what I'm very interested about. I love Reese peanut butter cups. I love them, I haven't had them in so long. When you go trick or treating and you go to a house that gives you Reese's peanut butter cups, you know they don't play around. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cheers. Oh my God. I gotta take another bite, just one little bit. Let me tell you, I've seen the face of God and it is peanut butter. This is fantastic. It is basically a Reese's peanut butter cup, just remolded into an egg shape and shoved full of their peanut buttery filling stuff. 
Holy crap. I gotta give Reese's peanut butter cream eggs four out of four cups of loving peanut butter. I am shocked. I am happy. I am full. Now that I've eaten my weight in chocolate, how do they all compare to each other? That's a good question. Now the worst, the worst one, I think in my heart, I think it's the Milky Way. If I put that there, can you see that? It's just boring. It's got no crunchy bits in it. It's just straight up a Milky Way. It's Milky Way, that's what it's right. Or a Milky Bar, whatever. It's just that. It's boring, it's fine. But there is better. Next we're gonna do the Galaxy Golden Eggs. We got our crunch, but at what cost? Then I'm gonna do the Malteser Easter, Malt Easter, whatever. This guy. That's a good, but Maltesers aren't my favorite snack. Can you see that? It doesn't matter. Next we're gonna do the Lindor chocolate just because um, it's very sickening. <laughs> so that's gonna go there. Then we're gonna do Cadbury cream egg. Um, a fantastic sweet, a bit old, a bit run down, because guess what? There are better things on the market, and I'm gonna tell you right now. I feel like a chocolate salesman. None of these companies have sponsored me, by the way. So, uh, Cadbury, where are you at, son? Send me a check, please. Now here's the thing, I am stuck on the final three. <sighs> I need to think about this for a second. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put the Reese's cup in third place. Just because it is, if you ate the whole egg, that's a lot of peanut butter. It's just chock full, it's a lot. Half of it is great, but the whole thing is a lot. God, I, I don't know what to do. I have to go to a tie because it's too difficult. It's too difficult to choose. So we have a tie between the Cadbury Oreo mess of an egg that I destroyed and the Cadbury mini eggs. It's just, it's what we gotta do, unfortunately. The mini eggs are fantastic because you can eat so many of them without feeling sick. But honestly, that Oreo egg is so tasty and so lovely and it's different. You know, I've had so many mini eggs in my life. I don't really want to tell you how many because it's uh, alarming. But this is the order of my top British Easter snacks. And let me tell you, I don't feel so good. Let me know what order you would put this stuff in because I personally think I'm always right. So if you don't agree, that's on you. But it'd be cool to see if anybody else agrees the mini eggs and the Oreo Cadbury egg, top notch. I hope you guys have a lovely Easter and you eat too much because that's what Easter's all about, the true meaning of Easter. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, bye. Oh my God, I do not feel okay. <sighs> if this video doesn't get a lot of views, and I've just put on 10 pounds in chocolate for nothing. I'm gonna be so mad.